So with 2023 coming to an end, I want to quickly put together a video sharing some of the best laptops that we've tested this year. Now we've roughly gone through 25 different laptops here in the studio. And so I'm going to split this video into two separate categories, laptops that are productivity focused, as well as laptops that are gaming beasts. Now, I should mention that some of the productivity focused laptops can be used for gaming as well as vice versa. You just have to look through the line to see which one of these laptops would fit your lifestyle. So uh, I'm gonna try and keep this as simple as possible. Now, before we dive in, I thought it'd be nice to give you guys a quick recap in terms of what happened this past year, 2023. So back in January, Intel dropped their 13th gen Raptor Lake CPUs along with uh, laptop manufacturers rolling out newer designs. And then AMD uh, announced their Ryzen 7000 series Dragon Range CPUs which once again was a nomenclature mess with a clash of Zen 2, Zen 3, Zen 3 Plus, and Zen 4 CPUs. It wasn't until later in April that we started to see some of these processors make their way into laptops. Um, there's also a bit of uncertainty when it comes to availability for AMD-based laptops, but we all know that's just not a surprise. So. Yeah, it's just an AMD thing. On the GPU front, NVIDIA did announce RTX 4000 for laptops, which did give us a pretty generous bump in terms of gaming performance. And uh, the same month in January, Apple also announced the M2 Pro and M2 Max chips for the MacBook Pros. We did see the M2 Ultra chip come to the Mac Studio later in June. But the surprising part about just Apple's whole SOC announcement is that just within a matter of 10 months, back in October, they announced M3 for the MacBook Pros, which is absolutely insane. That's probably the fastest product cycle release or product announcement that I've seen within the same year, let alone less than a year. And then fast forward to December, out of the blue, AMD drops their Ryzen 8000 series of laptop processors, specifically codenamed Hawkpoint, which we all know is essentially just Ryzen 7000 with tons of AI. <laughs> so that whole presentation to me was just basically AMD saying, let's just put together a quick slide deck, showcase it to the press to see if uh, we can kind of break the, the news cycle uh, right before Intel dropped their Meteor Lake CPU. So I think it was just like literally a couple days before Intel announced Meteor Lake. So yeah, should be interesting. I'm not sure about availability for these chips. Again, it's just all a question mark. Uh, there's no other confirmation on that. Intel also dropped Meteor Lake this year, which was also very interesting timeline. Um, I'm assuming, you know, folks over the higher people at Intel just needed to cash in those bonus checks. But yeah, just saying it's it's been a pretty interesting year in terms of CPU announcements for laptops. Now, if I look at laptop designs, the one thing that I found common was that 16 inch laptops have been gaining a lot more popularity uh, this year, simply because laptop manufacturers are able to cram in bigger 16 by 10 displays, along with better cooling hardware to cool the, both the CPU and the GPU because the power ratings for both components have been going up just because it's just bringing so much performance to the table. So you need proper cooling system to keep things under control. I think it's pretty difficult to find a bad laptop these days because notebook manufacturers have certainly improved on the build quality front, as well as modernizing some of the design as well. Plus, uh, you can also find some really good deals on laptops around this time of the year. Unfortunately, earlier in the year and somewhat towards the middle of the year, uh, the prices for laptops have been quite high. And I think inflation is definitely something to blame as well. But uh, other than that, yeah, it's been a pretty good year for laptops, guys. So that's a quick recap of 2023. I'll make sure to leave links to all the laptops that I discuss here in the video down in the description if you guys are interested in picking one up. Uh, also, I want to mention that I will only be mentioning the laptops that I've tested here uh, in the studio. Uh, I'm sure there are many laptops that we haven't tested that are great devices. In fact, I would recommend you referring to other creators who have covered them because I'm sure they're great machines. But uh, yeah, that's where we're going with. So without any further ado, let's kick things off with the best productivity focused laptop. And my pick goes to the MacBook Air 15 inch with the M2 chip. This laptop just combines great build quality in a super thin design, which only comes to around 0.42 inches. It features a 15 inch display, which is probably one of the best and brightest that you can find for a thin laptop. The battery life is also better than the 13 inch Air since Apple was able to incorporate a bigger battery uh, considering the larger chassis. And the performance is rock solid. It is actually faster than the 13 inch Air because of the bigger chassis, the passive cooling is better uh, on the 15 inch MacBook Air, which allows for the clock speed to stay higher for consistent workloads. So all in all, I think this would be just an excellent productivity focused laptop if you're looking to sort of take notes uh, and you know just get work done. And if you're looking for a premium computing experience, 
the MacBook Air just is the way to go. The only worst part about this laptop is Apple's base config. Um, you know, eight gigabytes of RAM, and 256 gigabytes of SSD just isn't enough for anybody in 2023, let alone 2024 and just the following years. So if I were you, I would probably upgrade to the 16 gigabyte option along with half a terabyte of storage just to feature-proof the laptop for the next five to six years. Now, if money is not an issue, and if you're somebody who's just looking to get into some creative work, if you're a photographer or a creator, or if you're just looking for just a laptop that's gonna last you for the next five to six years that can handle all sorts of intensive tasks, creative focus tasks, the MacBook Pro with the M3 Pro and the M3 Max chip is the way to go. I would actually also recommend the M2 Pro and the M2 Max uh, refurbished models if you're looking to save a few bucks. Now, one of the reasons why I'm recommending a MacBook Pro is simply because of its consistent performance on battery, because you're not losing any performance whether you have it plugged in or not. Unlike any Windows laptop, it's still difficult to find a Windows laptop that can still run at its 100% utilization on battery mode because you're losing a ton of performance the moment you, you know, have it unplugged. Whereas with the Max, it's simply, you know, you could take it with wherever you are on an airplane and still edit a video, edit a photo, or just get all sorts of work done without sacrificing on performance, which really goes to show Apple's amazing power and efficiency combined into this SoC. It's truly remarkable. If you're a pro photographer or a content creator or developer or a 3D artist who can leverage the performance of these Empowered Macs, uh, you're seriously in for a treat, guys. Because the fact that you can cram all of that performance into a very thin and light chassis is pretty awesome. Uh, the fact that it comes with tons of ports, that you get a full-size SD card slot along with a full-size HDMI port, lots of Thunderbolt ports for expansion. And most importantly, if you need a higher resolution display with accurate color representation, this has you covered. It's also got one of the best sounding speakers on a laptop, period. In fact, the MacBook Airs also have one of the best sounding speakers, so you're just guaranteed for an awesome multimedia experience as well. The keyboard and trackpad is awesome. That one-to-one -one experience, especially the optimizations built into with macOS, just gives you an awesome computing experience. I still use one every day uh, to get tons of work done. So yeah, best productivity laptop, if money isn't a problem, MacBook Pro is the way to go. That being said, there is an amazing Windows-based laptop for productivity as well. And that none other than goes to the Lenovo Slim Pro 9i. See, this laptop comes in both 14 inch and 16 inch flavors. And simply put, an engineering marvel from the team over at Lenovo. Picture high performance, premium design into a thin and light chassis. And this laptop delivers exactly that. So, you know, the design is incredible. It's very minimal or with rounded corners for better handling. You also have a ton of ports to work with, including full-size USB type A ports, something that the MacBook Pro lacks. Lenovo's keyboard is also by far some of the best out there, coupled with their massive and smooth glass trackpad. And they also get a beautiful 16 inch mini LED display with 165 Hertz refresh rate. It's essentially the MacBook of Windows laptops. The chassis is only 0.7 inches thin, and yet it packs an RTX 4070 running at 100 watts, along with a Core i9 CPU. So it's got the horsepower to run STEM focus applications, video editing, and photo editing apps, no problem. Plus you can also dab a little bit into gaming as well. This is one of those laptops that defines a true premium Windows computing experience, and you can't go wrong with the Slim Pro 9i. Now, if you're looking for the best value-focused laptop in 2023, that one easily goes to the Asus ZenBook 14X OLED. Look, for $9.99, this is probably one of the best built thin and light laptops on the market. It's super thin, coming in at 0.67 inches. You get a Core i7 CPU with 20 threads, which offers great multi-core performance, and an RTX 3050 to just give you a little bit of boost for graphic-intensive tasks when you need it. The keyboard and trackpad is awesome. Uh, the 16 by 10 OLED display is 120 Hertz and it's truly an awesome panel to work with for both productivity and as well as a little bit of entertainment as well. The port setup is pretty respectable as well, including a full size HDMI, Thunderbolt 4 for expansion if you wanna plug it into a desktop setup. And you also get a full size USB A port, which is pretty neat. And the included power supply is super compact. It's easy to carry around. It's got really good battery life. And I think it's a great option for students who just don't want to break the bank. And now I want to quickly go over some honorable mentions. And the first laptop that comes to my mind is the Dell XPS 15. You see, this isn't anything revolutionary from Dell. We've started, we've seen this design for the past two to three years consistently. Nothing really has changed from the outside or let alone even the inside as well. I mean, Dell is sticking to the same, if it ain't broke, don't fix it type of approach. If it works, that's fine, right? 
And for $12.99, you get some pretty decent specs, but what surprised us the most from this laptop is just the remarkable battery life. I don't know what sort of secret saws the team over at Dell or the engineers at Dell have done, but they somehow have just figured out how to tune Intel's 13 gen CPUs to yield better battery life. It seems like, you know, they just know how to run these chips when they are at a lower power state, which I think is pretty impressive. So if you're looking for a premium Windows laptop with a pretty dated design that will yield you incredible battery life, look no further than the XPS 15 because it's still a great laptop, guys. I mean, I still think it's awesome, uh, but I just wish the design was a little bit better. But hopefully we'll see that uh, change in 2024. The other laptop that I wanted to mention is the Lenovo Slim 7 series that come in both Intel and AMD flavors. Although good luck finding an AMD spec because it's, again, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, impossible to find anything with an AMD chip. Uh, so this laptop is essentially just a culmination of great build quality, great design in a super clean, minimal package. You get a lot of the premium features of the Slim Pro 99 that I mentioned earlier into a fairly thinner and smaller package. Um, so, you know, you're getting a pretty premium computing experience at a relatively good price point. So, yeah, I think this is another great option for students who are just looking for a really good, solid, well-built Windows laptop. I think this is a great time to take a quick break and check out today's video sponsor. The really capable Performance 1FT is now available in white. The perfect complement to matching or contrasting hardware with all the same great features. Four thick fans deliver proper airflow for the 40 series and below. There's a temperature display so you know when things get hot. Support for dual 360s at the same time, 10 gigabits per second type C and a whole lot of character with that front grille, dual TGs, cable covers to hide the mess, and Antec is really turning things around. Pick your own color and enjoy this awesome full tower. All right, so now let's transition into the best gaming laptops of 2023. And I'm gonna kick things off with the best portable gaming laptop. Now, thing is, it's just really hard to find a super thin or portable gaming laptop. And even if you do, usually the GPU power is capped, uh, unlike a thicker chassis that can fit a better cooling solution to power or to allow for more power into the GPU on the CPU. So that's one of the compromises that you have to take when you are shopping around for a thinner, you know, portable gaming laptop. But there's one laptop that in our, in my opinion, just combines portability, good pricing, good battery life, and good design into a single package. And that goes to the RG Zephyrus G14. This laptop comes with a Ryzen CPU, which is much more efficient compared to Intel. It's super fast for multi-core workloads. You can configure it with up to an RTX 4090, though I would only recommend getting the 4060 or 4070 specs since you're getting a way better performance for the dollar. The Nebula HDR display is one of the best panels that I've looked at. It's also 16 by 10, allowing for more content to fill up or take up your screen real estate. It's also built really well. You get tons of ports. You really can't go wrong with this laptop because if you look back at the very first G14 that was announced just a few years ago, it just sort of set the benchmark in terms of what a portable, true portable gaming laptop should be. And this is still continuing to be one of the best gaming laptops that you can find on the market. Moving on to the best six inch gaming laptop. And this one was a bit difficult for me to pick because we have a lot of six inch gaming laptops on the market that are really good. In fact, I've made a whole write-up video going over some of the best six inch laptops, which I'll link right over here. Highly recommend checking it out. But in my opinion, I think the best six inch gaming laptop goes to the Legion Slim 7 series that come in both Intel and AMD flavors because for the price, especially if you find one on sale, you're greeted with a sleek and minimalist design with fantastic build quality. The keyboard and trackpad is also awesome. The 16 by 10 display is bright and beautiful and it sports up to 240 hertz refresh rate, which just gives you a buttery smooth gaming experience. The majority of the ports are located at the back for easier cable management. Plus the signs at the back are backlit so you can easily distinguish one from the other. You can also configure this laptop with up to an RTX 4070 that can run over hundred Watts. And the gaming performance is pretty incredible. And remember, the chassis is only 0.78 inches thin, which is pretty remarkable. That being said, I can't forget to mention its bigger brothers like the Legion 5 Pro and the Legion Pro 7 series, because if you're looking for a little bit more GPU and CPU power with a little bit of compromise on the overall form factor, if you're okay sacrificing a little bit of weight, uh, these are great alternatives as well. Now, if you're looking for the absolute best gaming performance on a laptop, this is one of those categories where money isn't an issue, Form factor isn't an issue. You just want something that can be classified as laptop that can give you desktop class performance. This none other than goes to the Razer. No, no, 
It's not a Razer laptop, guys. I almost got you there, okay? This one is the RG Scar 17X 3D. You see, this is a very unique laptop from AMD this year and RG, of course, because what they did is they took a desktop class Ryzen 9 7950X 3D and just crammed it into one of the fastest laptops on the planet, paired with an RTX 4090 running at 170 watts. It absolutely demolishes what Intel has to offer, with an exception if you're getting into sort of creative-based applications that require built-in QSV for acceleration. Sure, Intel CPUs have a bit of an edge there, but from an overall CPU performance perspective, the X3D chip is so remarkable. It's probably one of the fastest chips that you can find on a gaming laptop, period. The 17-inch form factor also allowed RG to cram in a really beefy cooling system, specifically a vapor chamber cooling system to keep temperatures under control. So things are running pretty cool on this laptop. You also get a 17-inch Quad HD display that runs at 240 hertz for that buttery smooth gaming experience. You get tons of ports at the back for uh, expansion. That being said, I guess the runner-up for the best desktop replacement, that one goes to the Razer Blade 18 because Razer just crammed a lot of performance into a fairly thin chassis. It's not super thin, but it's thinner than the uh, RG Scar laptop. And you are getting amazing build quality in a really good form factor. I love the aesthetics. Again, if you're into the matte black, simple gamer aesthetics, the Blade 18 is a pretty great alternative. But if you don't want to break the bank, the RG Zephyrus M16 is a great option. Specifically, I found a 4070 spec for a really good price on Best Buy, which I think is a great option. This just combines great build quality in a really stealthy design, especially matte black. If you're into that kind of stuff, you're going to love the M16. The mini LED display is by far one of the best displays you can find for a laptop. That paired with a really solid keyboard and a massive glass trackpad just gives you an awesome computing experience overall. Now, I want to wrap up this video by sharing one of the coolest laptops that I've encountered this year. And that easily, hands down, goes to the Lenovo YogaBook 9i. You see, I had so much fun using this laptop for both productivity and just getting a little bit into content creation as well. It doesn't necessarily have the hardware to back it up. The specs are not on par with what you'd expect with a creator-focused laptop. But when you take the whole performance out of the equation and just use it from a productivity standpoint, it's simply just an awesome experience. So you get two 13.3-inch OLED displays that are vibrant and sharp. You can use it in different modes, starting with laptop mode, tent mode, book mode, and tablet mode, so it's highly versatile. The keyboard and trackpad are virtual on the bottom display, but it also comes with a cool Bluetooth keyboard that syncs up to the laptop instantly. And the coolest part is just how you can transform this laptop into a dual display workstation wherever you go. Remember, this whole package can conform back to 0.63 inches, and it only weighs around three pounds. Plus, Lenovo has built in some cool Windows management tools to take advantage of all the screen real estate. So, if you bring this thing to a coffee shop or, you know, I guess wherever you go, you're going to be the talk of the town. I think this laptop, or I guess, I don't even know if you can call it a laptop. I think it's just a niche product catered towards those seeking a very different, innovative computing experience. And it's just one of those devices that just makes technology more exciting. So there you guys have it best laptops of 2023. It's just a really fun little video that I decided to put together. And it also helps me kind of go back into the year and take a look at some of the great laptops that uh, have passed by the studio. Uh, this is also the last video for the year. So I'm excited for what 2024 has in store. We already kind of know what's happening with Meteor Lake setting the stage. So, you know, expect more content around Meteor Lake and everything else coming along the pipeline. So yeah, stay safe. Happy New Year. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Spend responsibly, my friends.